rice is a staple food for most of Filipinos across the country. The country's land area for rice production is less developed compared with that of the other major rice producing countries in Asia. However, Philippines is the world's eighth largest rice producer. For the country's farmers, rice is more than just food. It is the very basis of their culture. Farmers are those who work in the field and grow food for us. Despite their hardships and sacrifices, their lives were never easy. They work a lot every day and get no free time even for themselves or for their family. These modern heroes play a very important role. Without these farmers, no nutritious food will be served in our tables. As our group searched for further reference and understanding about a farmer's life, we met Mr. Walter Galendez, 41, who dedicated his life in farming for 15 years along the meadows of Antongalon, Butuan City. Kano po yung uh, yearly nyong pinikita sa pag-aani ng palay? Uh, yearly, mga kada hektarya siya, ma'am. Hmm, magkano po kada hektarya? Uh, sa uh, kada panguli lang is mga uh, 90. After harvest, his rice was sold at a cheaper price because he has to return the loan he made prior to planting. Kailan sa ako po yung na-harvest nyo kada taon? Uh, kada taon mga 100, 190. Yeah, ang pagbibinta namin, ang pagbaligya sa mga, uh, na na, uh, 17 ang kilo. 17 ang kilo. Uh. According to him, there are several factors that may affect the quality of his rice crops. One is rainfall. If it does not rain in time, then he may delay planting rice, especially when the irrigation system for the farmers by the government dried up. Another is the availability of the fertilizer. If he does not get enough fertilizer in time, neither has he got better seedlings. Eh, sa pagsasaka po, ano po ba yung unang-unan yung ginagawa tuwing umaga, lalo na yung regular na ginagawa ng isang kagaya yung magsasaka? Poon, uh, monitor sa palay na mo. Niya mo. Uh, inlog sa mga kalibo. Sa paggamit ni mo, kabaw, kinaugaling yung ba ni mga kabaw yung mga gamit or nagsuhol ba ka o mga tao para mo darop mo suhol yung kong tao kaya di man makaya o para mo ugmad nakoy ko agaling yung kabaw para mo daro ang nasapin na ay time nga mo abot nga ang tubig nga gikan sa irigasyon kabos siya niya, wala pag siya ay ulan unsa o manin niyo pagsibang inyong mga tinanong Ikan sa pagtanom, one week, umana na mo siyang isprihan. Isprihan na mo para, para mapatay ang puhol niya. Umana na, dag ko naman ang humay, hindi naman siya magdaan nila ng kahon. Nana po yung mabot ng mga steam cooker o black bag. Maghimo mi o kaning suka. Sukaan na mo ang isig kakilid na sa among ang palay. Kaya mo, kuhan man na sila mo dugok sa suga. Dahil ilang taon na ba kayong farmer? Ilang taon na ba kayong magsasaka? Mga 2,000 nagsugod ko. No. Hantod ka rin mga 15 years. Oh, 15 years na. Ano po ba yung sekreto para hindi kayo magsawa magdali? Sa, sa kuha lang kabahinan siguro na nung yung ani akong pamag, uh, pangita uh, naman ko yung kapahinan. So, Mao nang siguro akong pangita nga farmers ing unan labi ipakita po na ko sa mga anak nga mao na akong uh, income kada daw ipikasto sa ila when it is time to harvest his nerves are heightened because too much heat from the sun and the rain may affect his total earnings although walter is living a hard life he is very helpful and hospitable to his guests he enjoys quality time with his family and relatives, and his expectations were not set high. 
but when they are met, he is more than grateful. Truly, farmers are God's gift for all.